appreciate you <coughs> stepping in early. Okay. Uh, how uh, would you prepare yourself to serve on the local option sales tax committee in a knowledgeable and meaningful role and what assistance might you expect or need from city staff? Well, first of all, I would pay very close attention to everything that's in the news, everything in the media. Um, I would talk to citizens in my neighborhood and anywhere else I run into people on the street, see what they think, get some ideas. And as far as what I would need or want from city council, is direction. <laughs> I follow directions very well. Uh, I like to have instructions and orders and, and then take it from there. If it's something that I don't agree with or I don't understand, I'm pretty open about that. How can members of, of this committee provide value to the community and to the city council? Uh, which committee? The lost yeah. committee? Yeah. Okay. Well, for one thing, if we are going to be sort of overseeing or directing the expenditures, um, I would want to make sure that it's going in a direction that would provide safe and attractive neighborhoods that would be sound and secure so they would last through future generations and any other disasters that may befall us. Can you give examples of previous uh, committee work where you were responsible for compliance with law or regulations or interpreting mm -hmm. guidelines um, or financial statements? Okay. Uh, yes, I've been on several committees. I was on the first commission for the Paramount Theater. And I've also been on the YMCA Board of Directors. I've been president of that board, one of the first women to have that position. Um, I am on the SPPRC committee, chairman of that, which is the Staff, Parish, and Pastor Relationship Committee at St. James United Methodist Church. We've been really up front in the community with getting out to the neighborhood and helping and serving and uh, finding out what the people's needs are. Um, we've worked within a budget. I'm on the uh, Finance Committee at the United Methodist Church because anyone that is president of the SPPRC committee SPRC committee uh, also is obligated to attend every other committee of the church. So also um, in keeping with that, I formed a committee called RAFT, R-A-F-T, and that's called Rise Above Flood Trauma Together. And in doing so, we're going out through the neighborhood and doing special things. We are working within a very slim budget, but we are prioritizing the needs of the neighborhood to uplift them, to bring them special things that make them feel welcome in the neighborhood, and we're there to help them, and we're doing things to promote that through this small budget, and then prioritizing what we should do first. One of the things we're doing is giving out Easter baskets to everybody that's rebuilding in the neighborhood. Is there another part to that question? No, that was oh, great. Okay. Justin? Are you back in your home now? So. No, I'm still in a FEMA trailer. I'm still in the rebuild process. I've had a few setbacks that happened to my upstairs that wasn't flooded, but from being frozen and not getting the heat in soon enough, the furnace, uh, when it was installed, thawed out an upstairs toilet that nobody knew was cracked. And it went through and uh, damaged the new drywall in the kitchen. Thank God the cabinets weren't in yet. So I had to put a new floor in my upstairs bathroom, put a new toilet in, all new plumbing. The walls had to be torn out and all the plumbing pipes had to be replaced throughout the house. So I'm glad it happened actually because that way I found out what was going on between those walls and before it was completely rebuilt. But it may be a couple months before I get back in yet. And a lot of the people in the neighborhood are experiencing cracks in their plaster in the upstairs from the house settling. And even though everything's been jacked up downstairs. So that's that's a problem. I'm having a plastering workshop in my house though for all the neighbors. <laughs> I'm sending invitations, come to my house and get plastered. That's <laughs> well, <laughs> Have you had any hassles from FEMA? From FEMA? Uh, in which way? Uh, in terms of the fact that 
you will need a couple more months before you will be ready to move. No, actually they've been pretty good about it. Uh, they do review every single month they come to the trailer, uh, sometimes several times a month, one part of the FEMA or the other, uh, whether it's maintenance or someone trying to find out how far I am along. And they meet me there, they go through the trailer, make sure that it's not being destroyed, and then they go over to my house and they take pictures and look at the progress and then estimate how long it's gonna be and uh, they've been pretty good about being patient about that. Well, we've been getting some reports to the contrary, so I was just wondering if uh, we were having any. I haven't, and the only thing that they have said to me uh, that makes me believe that that might be true, the reports you're getting, is that there are some people that are taking advantage of it and not really doing a lot as far as rebuild and dragging their feet, and then some people are not taking care of the FEMA trailer as well. So, and that's a gift. Justin, what are you doing? Uh, do, you, uh, do you have any problem working within a committee? Oh, uh, heavens no. And if you have someone with their own personal agenda, are you okay standing up and saying, that's not our purpose here? Yes, take sir. Care of a individual? Do it all the time. <laughs> you do? Yep. I say, can we stick to the point? We're wasting time. But I'm guilty of getting off the point myself, so. <laughs> and I don't have a problem with conflict of interest. I usually weigh all sides of the situation. And for example, if the meeting were set on a night that I ordinarily had a meeting with my SPRC committee at church, being chair, I could change that night for that one night of the month. And uh, if it was something that was extremely urgent that I couldn't miss, then I would make sure everybody knew in advance. But I prioritize, so whichever is most important and urgent. So you have every every uh, intentions to rebuilding and staying in your home? Yes, I do, unless I find out when I get back the neighborhood's unsafe. I've been broken into three times since the flood. So things that I had stored in my upstairs have been damaged, robbed, dumped all over the upstairs. Uh, I have to replace the floor coverings all the way upstairs because of the things that were tracked in there when people broke in. And when people were helping with mucking out, it was unavoidable, so, yeah. But I will, I do intend to stay there. My home was totally paid for, so was my car. But the car went under with all the things I was evacuating with. <laughs> I got out the window, and, and that's where the raft came from because a raft came and got me in. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you today. As I turned around, looked back, and the car went boom, boom, and everything when it was with, under with it. So. Yeah, and I hope nobody misunderstands this comment, but I would like to see all of the neighborhoods rebuilt, and not all of it made into green space. Those were homes, and I'd like to see homes back in there. Do you share that same Yes, opinion? I do, because quite frankly, there are a couple homes in my neighborhood that are scheduled to be torn down, and I'm hoping that they don't remain green space right next to me on either side, because um, I kind of like having neighbors. I kind of like the protection and security of having people around. And yes, I would like to see the neighborhoods be full and be desirable. Mm -hmm. Thank you. One more comment. Is my time up? <laughs> my time's up? Go ahead. <laughs> okay. On this side, uh, first I have to tell you, the word lost committee sounds to me like a bunch of losers. <laughs> okay? I'd rather be found. Figuring optimum uses and negotiating demands for disbursement. So, and I promise not to stand up and sing Amazing Grace. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. We you appreciate your advice. I do think it's important, though, to have representatives from the flooded neighborhoods because they know what's happening. We agree. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you.